Hey YouTube, it's your girl Nick back at you with a quick chat. This is going to be fast. It's not going to be long. So, Mama and I had a spontaneous Netflix and chill type of evening last night, right? We ended up watching two movies together last night. We watched, um... First, we watched End of the Road, the movie with Queen Latifah and um, Ludacris. They came out. I guess he came out yesterday. So, let's talk about that right fast. Um, this was... They could have gave Queen and Luda more to work with. I've seen Luda do really good. That time when he was on Law and Order SVU. He played that character so freaking good. Where he, um, he had killed that girl years before, remember? He was, um, he was Finn's nephew on there. Um, come to find out, he, he wasn't even his nephew for real. He, he, um, Finn's son, mother. He was actually her child, and she gave him to, I guess, her mom or somebody like that to raise. And he grew up thinking that this woman was his aunt or his cousin or something like that. Because I know he thought Finn's son was his cousin. And I forget how he found out that she was really his mother. He had a lot of anger and resentment about that, and that's why he killed that girl that he killed on SVU. But anyway, I'm saying all that to say, Luda can handle better content, better character development than what he was given for this movie. And so so did Queen Latifah like or Dana Owens, whatever you want to call her. I just my mom and I was watching this movie and I said, first of all, the first scene that was a little bit like when a boy stopped in the middle of the road and she stopped and got out the car and apologized. First of all, I wouldn't have got out of my car. I would have had to speed by them and we would have just had to have a clip or a little a bump and it would have been a hit and fucking run because I wasn't getting out of my car in the middle of nowhere to approach nobody. And then the second thing was the hotel. When you hear something going on, Culturally, black people don't go investigate. We act like we ain't hear shit, we ain't see shit, we ain't smell shit. We don't know shit. That's how we do. We might know all of it. From the beginning to the goddamn end. Very detailed. But hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil is our thing culturally. Okay? So, but if they hadn't done what they did, this movie wouldn't have survived. Because, like, I feel like this movie was written with some other race in, in mind. Because, no. And I should have said spoiler. Because I'm telling a little bit of the movie. But, yeah. And I knew from the jump who the person was that was looking for the lost items. I knew from the jump that that's who they were. I'm not going to say who on here. Because I'm not sure how many of y'all um, watched it. But. I knew it. I knew it. That they was the person the whole freaking time. I knew it. This movie was so. Uh, and so after that went off. Let me throw in here real quick. So we watched the Kevin Hart movie. I think it was called Me Time. Where Regina Hall was his wife. And um, he was a stay-at-home dad, and he made his whole life revolve around his wife and kids. And he had a best friend that was reckless, played by Marky Mark. But um, he tried to finally go and have some me time after he was getting teased and stuff. And he started to feel some kind of way about what people were saying and thinking about him. He was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and have some me time do something for me. And he went to go hang out with his best friend, and that's when all the craziness ensues. That was actually, it was a lot of funny parts in there. It was crazy. 
a lot of craziness and stuff that was just like wow and um I, pr I pretty much enjoyed that we both enjoyed that way more than we enjoyed the end of the road thing because the end of the road it should have never been especially not with that group of characters like that is that's just not realistic for uh that's not culturally realistic for black people, okay? That's what that's what I'm gonna say. But the Kevin Hunt movie Me Time, it was pretty good. I I thought I had one character peg to be this way, and they ended up surprising me and being a whole nother way. So that was a good surprise. And Kevin Hunt was funny. And it's crazy because my mom, she always was like, What do people see in him? He's not funny. She always said that. She said that she didn't like him in the movies he, he was in when he was doing the funny or comedic roles. She definitely don't like his stand-up because she said he's not funny to her. But, um, she actually was cracking up the whole time for this movie. Like, especially the one scene at the beginning where he wore his leisure outfit and how he ruined the leisure outfit. What happened to make him ruin the leisure outfit? Yeah, that part was really funny to her. She actually told me today that she went to bed still thinking about it and laughing to herself about that whole scene. So, I would say End of the Road, Queen Latifah, and Ludacris. I would give that two stars out of five stars. And for Kevin Hart's Me Time. I would give that three and a half, four stars out of five stars. It wasn't that creative. It was a buddy comedy. One buddy reckless, one buddy kind of like um knows what he wants out of life and is doing that or whatever and has grown up and the other one has not. And what they ended up doing together at the end, I said that was a really cool idea, very, very cool idea. And I really enjoyed it. So that's my quick video. I see y'all in the next one. Two quick movie reviews without giving you spoilers. Peace, y'all. Click the like and subscribe buttons on your way in or on your way out for me, please. And get in the comments. Let me know if y'all watched it or what else y'all watching on Netflix that I might not have watching. I enjoy, I enjoy the sappy stuff because I'm a hopeless romantic. But I also enjoy a good comedy. I love romantic comedies. And, um... I like documentaries, too, because I always like to learn or delve deep into some stuff that I had no clue about, especially when it's a mystery like the girl in the photo or the girl in the picture or whatever that documentary was called. When, they get, when the child died not knowing her real identity. Yeah, that one. That was so, that was such a good documentary. But, um, yeah, I see y'all in the next one. Peace.